Hello there my YouTube friends So what we've got for you today is X-Men from The Last Stand The Wolverine This one is MMS 187 Let's get it ripped open and see what it looks like Wise, you see the front here, on the side, back, pretty good. The side here again, top and the bottom, pretty much the same. Taking this front cover off, and greet it with. This thing here, which looks pretty damn good. Take the slip cover off and you're greeted with that. We'll get it out, show you what you get with it, have a look at the character, see how good it is. Okay, guys, let's get the light box. So, here we'll go, guys, with the accessories itself. Now it looks like there's loads, but really in reality there's next to no things. But what I do like is the fact that it looks really good, what you're getting. You've got the two, sort of, these clawed fists here. Yeah, which is a shame there's no open palm one, but you get the two clawed ones, which I think... Just try and get this to there you go so it's actually on metal as well so that's pretty good you know these are die cast made of metal so it feels a lot firmer so you're not gonna have to worry about them getting broken easily which is great it's fantastic news, you get both of those, you get two normal fisted hands, you have to excuse the shake and the dog's just decided to flump himself down on the on his bed next to us here, so you get two fisted hands, you have the usual couple of extra pegs, and I know you're dying to see this, but didn't worry, you're gonna get to it. Just give it time, give it a minute. You have the normal style crotch grabber with a very normal style base, if that's what you fancy using. As you can see, this actually still has the plastic on it, it hasn't been removed. You know, with the last stand written inside and we'll ruin it on the front. So, if you like to use your very, very plain stands, then you've got a plain stand there for it, which is cool. You have the dynamic grabber which is good this is one of the better bits of it I think is to have a clear sort of flight stand you know I think that is a really really good idea I think most of them should have really been made like that you know what I mean but then you won't get the bend in it that you get in some of the other ones which is a shame you know it would be nice if they could make something similar to this would also still have the ability to be bendable. You know, that would be that would be just absolutely fantastic because that there isn't really going to be seen in many ways with, with foot with as I said better yet, speak English more with your photography. You know? And then of course we have this the PS the resistance for this thing. And look at that. That is just fabulous. And yes those eyes would light up at the back here, you can see just here, there's a thing to press it to bring it on. With mine, it obviously isn't working, so there's either no batteries in there or the batteries have run out. You know? but either way, you know me, I don't tend not to really use them anyway. Maybe it's one day for a photography thing, I'll, I'll put them in and see. But I mean, that I think looks absolutely stunning. It's just whether it'll fit on a shelf or a detolf or 
or I've had to, to look real good. But I do love the detail on that, yeah. I just think that looks absolutely so bloody herb. You know, you just can't go wrong with something like that. I mean, that just, it's just wow. Yeah, just absolutely wow. So let's have a look at the character himself. Now, as you can see, before we do go to there, that this bit, yeah, would fit to the side of there. Okay, that's that's where that would go to get him looking like he's basically just cut the holes in the head there. So uh, that's pretty damn good. So we'll get these put away and get the character out himself and let you have a look at the character of Wolverine. So here he is, guys. Now, facial wise, I'm not too sure. I mean, I'd have to probably watch the movie again to see I think the hair bit. I like the way the hair is because that's pretty much how he was and the, with his hair and that. The scowl on his face, I like that bit of it. I think it's pretty cool. The uniform is something I would worry about over a period of time because it's like a leather style to it. So I would be concerned about that in any sort of extreme heat you know because I've already seen one of my figures that's had an issue with that leather style effect so this one would worry us slightly about that and um, the only other concern I've got so far is I mean I've got him standing at the moment but his ankles seem extremely weak you know his ankles seem very very weak indeed so that does worries you can see the hands that he has on at the moment, well, obviously, they're going to get changed out because, hell, you know, for fact, with Wolverine, man, you want his claws on, you know. I really do. That's how I like them to be display. I think every display I've got with the Wolverine, which I've now got three Wolverine characters itself. Um, I just love the Wolverine, you know, I think it's amazing. And they've all got his claws in. Yeah, so uh, if you want to see those, guys, then just let us know, and I will uh, maybe see at the end of this one, I'll do like a little comparison, I'll get a few of them out. Show a few of them together, you know. But I think the uniform itself looks pretty damn cool. You know, we'll get you some close ups in a moment. You know, once we've shown you the articulation. So, head wise, he looked down slightly. But not really looking up too well. He got no, not much in the way of any sort of head tilt. But obviously, he will turn right the way around. So, that's pretty good. Bring his arms out over. That's really as much as what you're going to get from him because the uniform's going to push them back down again. So you're not going to get massive amounts out over. It does have a bicep split up here to give you the chance to move his arms around. But obviously, again, you're not going to have much chance of doing it because of the fact that the uniform is going to pretty much stop it. He's got a good amount of mobility in his elbow. Yeah, and all you're going to find is that the uniform again sort of starts to push it down. Wrist flexion in and out, which obviously you've just got to find where the peg is to in order to get the better thing from it, and it's going to twist all the way around, so that's pretty good. Arms lifted up forward. Again, you're not going to get loads because the fact that this, the uniform is that type of material that you really are going to struggle to get his arm to lift forward too far. Yes, you're not going to get a lot there. Okay. So now we'll have a look at the bottom part. His leg lifting forward. You're going to get about that. Going back. Again, with nearly all hot toys, they're pretty much the same sort of design of the body, so you're not going to get anything more than that. Out of that. You've got the luckiness that there's not leather on the inside of here, so you, you can't sort of get a damn good stretch on it. You just need to really sort of watch for these parts. Oh, his arms in the way, man. You can't see for his own. Is that this is leather here. So, you know, when you lift it up, you're getting a heck of a good distance on it, but it is going to sort of push it back down again because of the pleather style of leather material that's there. You know, but you're getting a really good level of sort of hip motion up over you know that is damn good considering most of them are pretty damn bad at it you know so move this down a bit see the knee we're getting a good bend on the knee there you know, the 
all fairly sort of weakish. Yeah, I'm not thinking because they are fairly weak, they're moving as easy. But this is where it's really sort of like it's this angle. I mean, just, just look at the ankles. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm putting no force through them at all. They are just so weak. You know, there's just nothing there to them. But you've got plenty of movement. I mean, look at that for flexion. You've got absolutely crap ton of flexion. You know, down, up, spins completely round. I am going to have to do a like a ball joint fix on this thing. I'm going to end up taking that boot off. Taking that boot off because he's got a ball joint inside of there, and there's a ball joint fix that one of my good friends, Michael Advera Moz, showed us on one of his videos. So I will be doing that to this guy because I I do need more stability in there, you know, because I, I want him to stand on his own. If I don't have him in a, a flight pose, you know, I want him to be able to stand on his own. So let's see if we can get him to stand up without and keep falling over because that is you can see it where the hardship lies now you've got a lot of movement in the body as well i don't know if you saw that let's just lift this up a little bit he's on oh, oh, see you can see the twist hey i mean massive amount of twist yeah a lot of lean forward and a lot of lean back on it yeah that is pretty damn good to get for your pictures and what have you and have them look at something it's just the fact that his ankles are totally 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 crap i mean i'm really gonna have to do a fix on them he's standing but for how long god who knows let's quickly get this on we'll do a close-up of his face now for you and let you see what his face looks like close up but i think it's it's not bad you know it's not perfect but it's not bad Yeah, you see, I would have to see the movie again. I mean, the hair style, yeah, I think it's pretty much bang on. It's just whether that face. It's, I mean, you can see who it's supposed to be. It's not like it's a bad one. You can see who it's supposed to be. And if we get in them early days, he would have looked a lot different than what he looks now. I do like the scowl that he has on his face, you know, I think that's an ideal thing. I'm just not that 100% on the likeness, but, you know, that's what we've got. That's what we've got to work with. Yeah. It's another Wolverine for me, little collection of Wolverines. It's just how are we going to display them. What well, the first thing we're going to be doing now is taking those hands out and putting in the clawed hands, because... That's what he's got to have. He's got to have his Wolverine claws in. Yeah, you can see we've got his claws in place. So, you can see the uniform itself, how good it looks. Now, do because here is a bit missing, which I will show you in a second. There you go, that's the piece that's missing. On the back end, you can see there, it has like two little raised bits. You know, just make them out, I think. And obviously that's supposed to go where the two little sort of buttonhole things are, but there's just no way you're going to get that to stay on. But, you know, that don't, I think they've sort of worn down too much over a period of time. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to, have to get a spot of glue on there to stick that on place. But that's neither here nor there, you know, so I'll do that soon. So here's like your first comparison one guys obviously as you can tell you won't be able to tell a, a height thing but they should be about the same height you know, so they've got sort of the wolverine from his original origin movie and here it's sort of already down in that sort of stance as if he's ready to fight you know against the actual x-men one here you know if you look at them the sort of the facial features are totally sort of a different style you know, I do prefer this version of them over this one. You know, definitely without a shadow of a doubt. You know, I think the face sculpt sort of looks more in line with Hugh Jackman. Yeah, but I do think this one still looks damn good. You know, I think the hairstyle was bang on for what it was in that particular movie. You know, this this one 
I just think he looks absolutely cool like that, you know. He has actually got his bone claws in. And these ones can be quite hard to get a hold of because this this one was actually like almost sort of a hodgepodge one to put together stuff, you know, to, to get them like that. You know, same as most of the other ones that I do happen to have of the Wolverine. They're pretty much made up from me buying the clothing, buying the body and buying the bits separately, you know, getting the head sculpt separately and stuff like that. You know, that's how most of them have come together. So none of them have been an original sort of other hot toys bar this guy here. You know, this one is me only sort of hot toys version of them. The rest of them are all sort of put together by buying different things, the clothes, the suits, the actual head sculpts, you know, the hands and everything else like that. They've all come in separate bits and I put them together to make up what I wanted from them. I do have another set of these because the first set I got of clothes came without this belt. You know, and I really wanted the proper belt. So I ended up buying another set that had the belt in it. So I do have another sort of set of these type of clothes kicking around. So I can make up an another one, but he just wouldn't have that particular belt. But for sort of the head sculpt part of it, I'll show you a bit more of it, a slightly closer look at them. Yeah, you can see there, you know, make up your own mind as which one you prefer which one you think looks the better head sculpt guys uh, now we'll take out uh, this guy and we'll put another one in these place and show you the next one now this one you can see guys is the suited up version of old man logan there he is slightly shorter by the looks of that because he's pretty much stood upright so you can see again it's to do with the body you know i bought the body it's up oh, ah and there he goes and this one guys you can see what we've got it's old man logan in his suit suited up version old man logan stood next to obviously the x-men version now there is a heck of a sort of height difference there but again that's possibly to do with the fact is that the body i got was like a generic body i didn't particularly get a Hugh Jackman body. I just got a generic style body. And I will say one thing you have to be careful about if you're going for a cheap generic body. Because I know for a fact that, that this backhand here is actually in with blue tack because the actual wrist peg snapped straight away and it obviously snapped inside of his hand. So the only way I'm going to get that thing out literally would be to fucking drill it out or something like that, you know. So I just wasn't going to do that. I'm not going to. Figure under it and, and possibly wreck me thinking that way so I just ended up putting a bit of blue tack in luckily it's hidden from the fact that he's got a he's got a jacket on so there you go guys that's the the look of him next to and he's going to fall again because it just won't stay up it's just, for some reason this light box I cannot get these figures to stand up you know the light box just has that thingy plus the ankles just don't have that thingy to it you know in this light box I mean you might not be able to tell but underneath there now that that this thing here is just you, know, you, you can't see it because obviously my fingers hang on, let's see if I can get this thing you know you can see look how spongy it is so trying to get two figures to stand up in here at one time is really really difficult guys it's, it is really difficult you know but I don't really want to get the stands out for them and make them into a, onto a stand to get it you know I may have no alternative soon but for now i just don't really want to do that so let's get this one out here get the last one in and see what the last one looks like here we go with the last one again it's old man logan with his daughter x23 again you know size wise logan from the x-men ones is a lot taller this one does have a lot better of a body to him than the other ones I've got, you know, this this one has a, a much, much better body underneath. This one a lot heavier. Uh, I, I do believe it's a facing body as well by the feels of it. You know, it feels like it's a facing body, so it is a damn good body that's underneath this guy here. You know, and I really do like how he looks. And of course, you've got to realise, as you age, you do sort of shrink slightly. So maybe that's slightly, can you can get away with it slightly by thinking that. But again, obviously, it's not an original, actual... Logan body, you know, it is a facing body, 
which I bought them like this, you know, and I bought her separately, and I put them together to make that sort of a nice little scene from a movie. So there you go, guys. That is my sort of one sixth scale Logans, and I do have another couple of sort of small little ones because I do happen to absolutely love the carrot right now. I think the carrot is absolutely freaking brilliant. So we do have this guy which this guy is absolutely heavy as out, you know, it's metal and he looks just brilliant yeah, so I do love this guy as well and lastly and I know what some of you are going to say guys but yes, I do have the pop version I would like to get actually the pop version of him without his top on you know, there's a, a great one out there without his top on but they are just so freaking expensive, you know because supposedly they've been vaulted but uh, and I'm not willing to pay a huge price for them regardless so there you go guys that's what we'll have this is my sort of small collection of Logan you know and I just think he looks absolutely brilliant I, I really really do love the car I think the character is amazing so there we go guys let's see if we get any more over a period of time but for now that is what I have on this one. So please, for the fact of how much I've had to go through to get these guys to stand. And yeah, please, yeah, if you've enjoyed, put a like on. If you didn't, put a dislike. Yeah, please comment down below. I will comment back. And guys, I will catch you in the next one. This is... The Bearded Nerdy Oaf. And we are out of here. So what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever <laughs> okay, say that? Okay. I mean... <laughs>